hello friends good morning i am here again with the another video about the accounting applications accounting application is a very useful that you know it has all the sales purchase inventory everything just report in just one hand so it's completely automated how accounting is done accountings let me get you about the accounting account is all about the credit and debit amount of the number of thing you purchase or number of thing you sell so it is have a balance between your whatever you purchase it's all about the pnl or other reports taxations everything you can control in this accounting module app so we start with the accounting basis how accounting basis actually required or how to implement your first invoice in accounting how you manage on that so let's see how we can see on our flector database so let's go on the flector database so here i'm with the flector database i'm gonna open an accounting application once i open an accounting application you can see the dashboard over here so you can create a first bill over here so it's already generated over here but you can select a sample vendor bill upload your own bill or you can send a vendor bills at the falls as well so here we have the options that you can create it then we have the option is called add a bank so you can have a add a bank you can add a multiple bank as well so whatever the account number is there the bank you can select over here is there a bank id fish code over there so you can select over there so general would be you know people use that as a empty because of the demo you can select at the bank or the payment we can categorize the sales purchase cash bank so you can select everything and accounting information as you see over here so the bank account number would be over here and the suspension account number over here so all the informations regarding bank you can fill over here i'm just discarding it okay for the demo i'm just not adding the bank for the accounting pds of course i'm going to configuration what is the period between the of this accounting the fiscal year would be from financial year so i'm going to select over here let's say first january i'm going to apply on that so i'm going to select the fiscal year so that would be more interesting in the all the reports of the finance charts of the accounts we have, do have the number of charts of account that you can select i'm going to group by that account type so as we as you know in demo we are generating about the us accounting system so it depends on the country to country if you have a different country so once you select the country it depends and the accounting of charts will appear depends on the country so as you can see over here the accounting dashboards the account types all the types of accounts are over here so that's how you connected with over here so like this in the accounting charge also you can go on the accounting modules uh, for the configurations if i'm go to configurations you can find a chart of accounts over here as well so you can select a chart of accounts so all types of the accounts active accounts you can find out over here is in the accounting module app you can select any of the company's names the type of that company account name the all the informations about the active accounts type you can find out over here so let's back on the dashboard so the, this is how you in accounting module you can just start with the basis so i'm gonna just uh, remove this as we already there i'm just removing the dashboard from there oopsie okay so now we have directly come on the invoicing part so let's go on the customers and the invoices so in invoices i'm going to create a new invoice so i'm going to select a customer let's say that's our interior in our flector database invoicing date would be the payment reference delivery address all the informations are there add a product so i'm going to select a product as you can see that over here the account is already there so we have the options that you can identify the accounts over here in menu generate invoice all the analytical accounts also you can select over here the quantities and the rest of the invoice is just about the product selected so i'm going to save it i'm going to confirm that as the draft is created i'm going to confirm that 
I'm going to register payment as we see how it reflects on our payment. Create the payment. It would be a general, the bank, the cash, the PayPal, or the wire transfer. We do have the all the options. You can select it over here. So that's now how we can create the payment. So once we create the payment, it will directly appear over here. So it will be just paid over here. So yeah, that can you can easily see. Also, you can see the all the chat box that payment status would be paid and not paid so you can directly see but also we have the options over here as you can see the question symbols if i click on that you can see directly what is the information about the payment also you want to can reconcile or on reconciling over here so that's how you create it and it will reflect on your payment option that's how it will reflect on the accounting model for the first creation quotations so that's how it's about the basic versions for the next detail, we will talk about in the next video. Thank you very much for this video.